Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. And I believe that is the part the former River State Governor and now Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yens Mwiki, has decided to tow as he vowed to end open grazing in Abuja, saying such can no longer be tolerated. Wiki at a press conference in Abuja on Monday, hours after his swearing in, said, We will consult the headsmen to see how we will stop open grazing because we cannot allow cows inside the city. They can be outside the city because the grasses are outside the city. The grasses in the city were planted to beautify the city. It is not that one that they would eat. So we would discuss. It is important. Let us say it. You are trying inside the presidential villa, for example, and you see about 20,000 to 40,000 goats. If foreigners see that, how would they feel? <laughs> but Uncle Wicked, what you don't know is that nobody can get between these people and their cows. So. Anyway, he didn't stop there. As he also said, he would demolish structures not built according to Abuja's master plan, including those built on green areas, stating he would step on toes. Now, when asked if his planned demolition was not a form of vendetta against his perceived enemies, we can simply promise the hard time for those who violated the law, irrespective of their status or position in society. Now, my question is this. Is Wiki moving too fast? Seeing the state the economy in is in at the moment, wouldn't demolition buildings worsen the hardship of people? Let us discuss this in the comment section below. Hunger is a complex problem with many root causes, including poverty, conflict, and climate change. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. But there are things that we can all do to help bring an end to world hunger and opportunities to create systemic change. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiari, on Monday assumed office and vowed that the federal government will ensure that it feeds Nigerians and exports food to end foreign exchange for the country. Kiari, who spoke at the headquarters of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security in Abuja during a brief reception organized by the Ministry for him and the Minister of State, Aliyu Abdullahi, said that he has come to understand that hunger is one of the big problems that we face in Nigeria with food security, insecurity, flooding and other issues. Now, according to Kiari, it is a big problem, but it's not insurmountable. In simpler words, it is not hopeless. And their target is not only to secure and feed the country, but also to export food, which he believes we have the potential to achieve. Meanwhile, the governor of Bono State, Professor Baba Ghana Zulum, I hope I pronounced that well, who accompanied the ministers to the ministry said, Nigeria needs long and medium term plans that will be sustainable to address food security. He said the country should invest in commercial agriculture and adopt modern agricultural techniques such as irrigation, green technology, amongst others. According to him, providing palliatives to Nigerians will never solve our problems because these are shorter term solutions. We must look for medium and longer term sustainable solutions that will address the problem of insecurity, food insecurity in Nigeria as our population is growing in quick geometrical ratio while our food supply is dwindling. Unless something is being done, we shall never get rid of these problems. Those were his words. Now, I just hope something is done. <laughs> because right now, hey, things are so expensive. See, a hungry man can't see right or wrong. He just sees food. Food is national security. Food is economy. It is employment. It is energy. It is history. Food is everything. In all, food is a common denominator. I sincerely hope it is worked on fast. We all know that Nigeria is blessed with vast oil reserves, making her the largest oil producer on the continent. Oil revenue has played a pivotal role in shaping Nigeria's economy, accounting for a significant portion of its national income. However, the country has been plagued by a persistent problem, and that is oil theft. This illegal activity has had severe consequences on the Nigerian economy, hindering growth, fostering corruption, and depriving the nation of much needed resources for development. Now, men of the Nigerian Navy have arrested 10 suspected pipeline vandals while attempting to steal crude from the sea in Lagos. 
The suspects were arrested at the Single Point Morin Boy, a Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation limited facility where tankers unload products which are eventually transferred into tank farms for distribution. They were arrested in three speed boats with over 100 pieces of 50 liter jerry cans with horses connected to drain the product from the vessel. The commander, NNS Baycroft, Kola Wale Ogutsuga, paraded the suspects at NNS Baycroft Naval Base Parade Ground at Papa Lagos on Monday before handing them over to the area commander of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Musa Jubril. I'm certain that we all have established that pipeline vandalism, bunkering, and crude oil theft are thriving illegal activities that have drilled a great hole in the nation's economy. From illegal oil wells to dugout pits and reservoirs, as well as illegal refinery sites, these crude and criminal ways of siphoning the nation's products have also damaged the environment. Regardless of all this, this oil theft doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. Now, I pray to the government that they prioritize efforts to tackle this issue through a comprehensive approach that involves improving security, addressing socio-economic factors, and promoting sustainable development. And I believe they are right on track because uh, by curbing oil theft, Nigeria can safeguard its valuable resources, promote economic stability, and channel funds towards sectors that benefit its citizens, ultimately fostering inclusive growth and prosperity. I just pray that this works because we are tired. We are actually tired.